Hello, boys and girls. This is your super cool teacher, Mr. Fox, here. We're going to talk about the organization of the human body today. This is the first thing that you need to learn about the human body as we progress into the different body systems. So there's actually levels of organization that you must be aware of to understand the structure of the human body itself. Here we have four diagrams illustrating the different levels of organization inside of the human body. So what we'll end up doing is we're going to start off from the smallest level of organization. And we're going to move all the way to the largest level of organization. So the first level of organization is going to be the cell. And as we learned earlier this year, the cell is the basic unit of life. So in this picture below, we can see bone cells. This cell in the middle here is an example of a single bone cell, which is actually called an osteocyte. Once you get two or more cells working together to perform a specific function, then you get our next level of organization, the tissue. So when we talk about a tissue, if we take a look at this whole entire box here, we'll notice that this box has multiple cells in it. All these cells, or osteocytes in this example, all make up a certain type of bone tissue. And this bone tissue that they make up is called compact bone, which is something that you are familiar with because it's the hard outer shell of the actual bone. We have various tissues inside of the bone, which include compact bone, as we see the cells here. There's another type of bone tissue called spongy bone. And then we have the bone marrow. By definition, if we get two or more tissues working together, to perform a specific function, we get what's called an organ, and that's the third level of organization inside of the human body. And in our example here, the organ that we're discussing is called the bone. This bone specifically here is called the humerus bone, which is your upper arm bone. As you probably see the trend going, two or more cells working together make a tissue, two or more tissues working together for a specific function make an organ, and the next level of organization is called the organ system. Now, the organ system is when you have two or more organs working together for a specific function. And the organ system that we're looking at now is called the skeletal system, which is comprised of over 200 bones that work together to perform a specific function. Now, let's visit a website on Google Chrome that will allow us to take a closer look at the skeletal system. Now, while we're waiting, this is an app that you can find in the Google Chrome Store, and it's called the BioDigital Human Explorer. Here on the left, you see a menu where you can take a look at the different body systems in the human body, such as the skeletal system, the parts of the digestive system, the urinary system, reproductive, respiratory, endocrine, lymphatic, nervous, cardiovascular, muscular, and integumentary system. So as we were talking about before, this is our skeletal system. And all these bones work together to provide certain functions such as support so we can stand upright. Also protection. The brain is protected and housed inside of this brain case, which is also known as the skull. And our vital organs such as our heart and our lungs are located here inside of the rib cage. And if we rotate the skeleton around, we can see that we have our spine, which is made up of quite a few bones called vertebrae. And the spine offers protection to our spinal cord, which is the main nerve that runs from the brain housed in the skull. It runs down the spine and has nerves that run out all throughout the body so your brain can communicate with the rest of the body. It makes your muscles move. It makes your heart beat. It makes your diaphragm contract and expand so you can breathe. So without the skeletal system here, we wouldn't have some of the protections for our vital organs that we need. What we're going to do next is we're going to take a look and see how all the different organ systems fit and work together to, to create this organism called a human being. So already we have our skeletal system in place here. Then I'm just going to add the other systems such as the digestive system. There's our urinary system. Reproductive system. Respiratory system. The endocrine system. The lymphatic system. The nervous system cardiovascular system, our muscular system, 
and the integumentary system. And all these systems work together to try to maintain a stable constant environment we know as homeostasis. Now that we put all the organ systems together, two or more organ systems working together to help maintain homeostasis reaches the final and largest level of organization in the body, which is the organism. And an organism is any living thing that can carry out its own life functions. So that concludes tonight's lesson on the organization of the human body. I hope this video was clear and simple for you guys. And have a wonderful night. Thank you.